so each person here has a count of times they've been infected. And we're going to, in main, create a histogram that's going to show among low-income individuals the count of times they've been infected, and among high income, high, medium and high-income individuals the number of times they've been infected. And uh, we will do so to see if there are disparities in place uh, for them. So we've never built a histogram before, and I'd like to show you how, okay? Um, so go to the palette and go to analysis, and we are going to add in a histogram data object. Histograms are different than plots. We need a little bit of mechanism to package up the data to be plotted as a histogram. A histogram data object figures out what information, um, uh, the information about the histogram, how many people are in each bin. And then we're gonna have a histogram plot, which plots that information. So we, we're gonna need a histogram data object, we're gonna need a histogram plot, we're gonna need an event to, to sort of populate those periodically, particularly the histogram data. So we, we've added a histogram data object, not a histogram yet, a histogram data object from up here. And the histogram data object is going to be called histogram data, low SES or low income infection count. I know that's a long name, but what it lacks in brevity, it makes up for in clarity. Okay, um, and we're going to do similarly a histogram data high income. Okay, um, so I'm going to take this and instead of dragging it in and, and typing it all again, I'm going to click on this, control click. Maybe Wade could state in a stentorian voice what it is on a Mac. Command click. Command click. That's right. Um, and I'm gonna drag and let go. Okay, so there's histogram data, low income infection count and histogram data, medium and high. You don't have to do what I just did, but it's um, it, it has some finesse to do it that way. It, it just prevents you from having to retype the name. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, we have these two histogram data objects. Um, and uh, next, we're going to uh, we're going to specify for each, well, no, we'll we'll leave the value range um, uh, just implicit. And we're going to use this to 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 plot out information. We're not going to specify value right now. We're going to do that as we say programmatically, we're gonna fill that in with a bit of code. Okay, but what we're gonna put into place is a histogram for these, okay? So we're gonna drag in a, uh, a histogram uh, for each of these, okay? Um, and uh, this histogram is gonna be a histogram object and it's going to include both of those items from both of those types of data, the histogram data objects. So this is going to include both and it will be called histogram. So count times infected histogram. Oh, uh, I think the uh, folks, uh, Matthias, uh, could you seize the um, oranges and apples before they're thrown out? Thank you. Before they get confiscated, okay. For the histogram count, uh, we're going to call it, sorry, we're going to call it count times infected histogram. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, thanks right. greatly. Um, okay, so I dragged in a histogram and I called it count times infected histogram. And this is gonna plot out both of those histogram data objects. They're gonna be histograms on the single histogram coming from each of those types of data colored differently. So the first of them is going to be um, uh, times 
infected amongst low income. There we go. And it confusingly says histogram, but it's really asking about the histogram data. So the answer to this is uh, that for the, to put here for histogram, it should be histogram data low, low income infection count. There we go. So what have I done? Your head may be spinning. Let me, let me make sure everyone's on board. I added, we want to plot out a histogram that will contrast the division, the histogram, uh, it will contrast the number of times low income people have been infected as a, as a distribution, as a histogram, versus the number of times medium and high income people have been infected as a distribution. Now, in order to do that, we need a histogram. That's what we just had here. But more than that, to show these different histograms, for each of these classes of people, we need these histogram data objects, which will compute the, the histograms, these distributions of bins for each of these, for low income and for medium and high income. So this histogram will depend on both of those. It'll, it'll study both of those. One, or amongst low income. And then we're going to add another. And so this one is for data low income infection. That's the, the data for the histogram. And next, add histogram data. We'll do it times infected among, guess what this will be? Medium and high, okay? And high income. I'll, I'll put it like this, good. And guess what goes here? Histogram data. Yeah, yeah, it's called medium, medium and high. Yeah, um, or it could be medium. Or yeah, it could be middle if you want. There we go. Maybe we will color them differently. I mean, it's up to you, but maybe I'll make amongst low income red and amongst, um, amongst medium and high, maybe I'll make it green. Okay, there we go. Maybe that's a little bit bright. What do you what do you think? Maybe blue? There we go. Okay. Okay. Now we're we're most of the way done, but there's a little bit of mechanism. I told you before that in these histogram data, we're we're actually gonna put the data into them with a bit of code. And we need, and I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I'm gonna learn you something here, okay? Um, and specifically, I'm gonna show you how to populate histogram, these histogram, this histogram data objects with the information for each person. We're gonna go through each person, the population, and if they're a low income person, we're gonna add their information into the low income, to the low income one, the number of times they've been infected, and if they're a medium or high income person, I'm gonna add it into the medium and high income information, the number of times they've been infected. Those adding them into the history of data objects will then put that into a histogram. So each time I add one, we'll figure out what pin it goes in. So I'm gonna go through each person in the population and put in this set of pins, if they're low income, that set of pins, if they're high and medium income, and then, those bins will, will be for the histogram and then we'll show the histogram. So we're at the cusp, the very cusp of greatness. And let's finish the, the job here, if we may. So we're gonna do this periodically. And how often periodically? How often, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to do it every, every day, okay? So, we want something to fire off every day, something to happen every day. And before lunch, I, I introduce something that will go off either once or multiple times, either at a rate or on regular interval. And what was that thing called? Does anyone remember? We actually put one in to infect someone in the first, at the start of the model, time zero. It was called, that begins with an E. Ends with a T. 
It has a V in it. Nevada. Nevada. Indeed, well spoken. Okay. An event, ladies and gentlemen, an event. Um, there we go. Okay. So, so let's do that. We're going to go put in an event. An event's job in life is to schedule a set of activities. And it lives, the, to add it in, we go under the agent palette and we drag an event. This is going to be an event that goes out for the whole model to say time to make the donuts, time to, to collect this histogram information. So the, informa the event's name is going to be event... Event, report, cumulative infection counts. It's a reporting event. It's going to go off. And I want you to tell me, we explored it before a little bit, and I want you to kind of follow your nose, as we say in category theory. Um, uh, I want you to... So tell me, like, what sort of event do you think it will be? Will it occur once or will it occur multiple times? This is going to go off every day. So will it occur once or multiple times? Multiple, multiple times. times, indeed. Multiple times. It's going to go off multiple times. It's going to go off once a day. So it's cyclic. And, oops, cyclic. And you notice when you say cyclic, it says when's the first occurrence? Sure, day zero. And what's its recurrent time every one day? We're all set with that. Now we just got to put the logic in place. And this, ladies and gentlemen, and this will complete the thought. And we'll have the spanking brand new histograms to thank for it. Are we ready for this? Okay, steal yourselves. Not, not S-T-E-A-L. Not steal out of the room or something. But, but steal us in uh, the material. Okay, um, uh, here we go. So we're gonna write a bit of code. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna clear the histograms from any old data. Any old data we'll throw away from last time. It, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of it, okay? So we, we gotta get rid of, for each of these, get rid of any data that's still sitting around. Histogram data, this is a bit of code. Histogram data, low income, Infection count dot reset. There's a command. Do it. Do it. Do it, buddy. And it's it's therefore it's got a semicolon. Now histogram data, medium and high income infection count. Um, yeah, dot reset. You notice I'm naming things in a way that indicates their. Their type. I say like histogram data, low income infection count. I, I indicate it's a histogram data because otherwise it's like you can't tell from the name what sort of things. Is it a date? Is it a transition? Is it a event? Is it a histogram data object? Is it a histogram? By naming it like histogram data, you know, oh, this is a histogram data. Yeah, okay. It's helpful for me. Okay. Um. And now we're going to go through each person in the population. And for each person, if they're a low income population person, we're going to store their data in what? In what are we going to store their data if they're low income? Can anyone tell me? We're going to, if, if it's a low income person, in which of these we're going to store their information? Yeah, the low income one. If they're a hot, medium or high income person, we'll store it in the medium and high. And these, these histogram data will, will take that data on the person's income and it will put it into the bins. Or sorry, not, it will take that information on the person's number of times that they got infected and will put it into the bins <clears throat> for the histogram of the number of times they've been infected. Okay? This is, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Okay, here we go. We've been so, done something like this before. You're fortified by lunch. And you can do it again. Okay. Um, this this is this is this is uh, constancy of purpose is the path to greatness here. Okay. We're, so for each person in the population, that's how we write it. In the population, 
Mm. For each person in the population, now put some curly brackets around it. Make sure those ears are showing. Okay, uh, okay, TAs, I'm worried because this is like the most technically demanding, these are the most technically demanding parts of the boot camp. And so I'd like you to be on the prowl. Okay, 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 ready? Now we got to figure out for, for each person in the population, what did I say? We need to ask, are they a what or a what? I said it earlier. What is it? We need to figure out, are they a low income person or are they medium high? If they're low income, we'll put them in their, their information on the cone of times infected into the low income uh, tabulation, the low income histogram. If histogram data. If if they're medium and high income, we'll put it into that one. So while we'll different histograms among low income, the number of times they've been infected among medium and high, and that will let us compare the two visually. Sound good? Okay, let's complete the thought. Okay, so if person dot, what, what are we going to use to judge if they're a medium, um, a, a low or a high income? We're going to use their what? Their what are we going to use from them that will determine if they're medium or, or they're low income or high income? We use their, or, or medium or high. What are we going to use? Their begins with I, ends with E. Income, yes. Thank you. Okay. Person not income is less than or equal to, guess what we'll use to determine if they're low income? We have a parameter. Remember that? A parameter, what is it called? Speak on. It's called the what? Low, low income threshold. Wow, that is a Greek chorus. That's the best Greek chorus I have heard in probably a decade. Um, okay, that is that is great. Okay, threshold, low income threshold. Okay. If it is, guess where we're going to put their information? Their information on the count of times they've been infected. Where are we going to put it? In which thing? In the, yes, the low income one, histogram data. Okay, we're gonna put it in the histogram data for low income. Okay, histogram data, there we are, low income. And we're gonna add in to that histogram. We're gonna say, hey, put this information into your bins for the, for the histogram into the, kind of the breakdown by kind of times infected. And what information are we gonna to add to it? This person's what? Not their income. The income is determining which of these reporting them. We're gonna put into this histogram of the count of times people have been infected, this person's what? Speak on their, their count of times infected. Their count of times infected. That's what we're plotting out in the histogram. Add person dot count times infected. I know, it's tough after lunch. Else, what else? If, if So if they're not low income, what are we gonna do? We're gonna add it, that information to the what? Medium and high, you got it, you got it. And Bob's your uncle, medium and high. Medium and let's, let's just have it fill it out for us. There you go. That's it. I'm gonna put it up. Um, put it up uh, there. There it is. It stands before us in all its beauty or hideousness, depending on your perspective. Okay. Um, now, so what's the logic? The logic is we have a histogram, and we want that histogram. We we want that figure to show us two histograms: one for the low income people showing the number of times they've been infected. It's a histogram. It's like a distribution of the number of times they've been infected. I'm going to show it one for the low income and one for the high income. And we might expect some differences. Between. If there's a difference, if low income people have a disproportionate amount of infections, we might expect that histogram to be larger in its values than for the high income, medium and high. Does that make sense? Okay, TAs, prowl on. Um, to, who needs help here still? I know this is the most as intense as it gets. 
So we go through each, we first reset the data. We, we, we throw away any data from, from yesterday. Oh, um, and then we go through each person in the population and we add them according to whether they're low income. We tally their statistics for that or otherwise we do it for the medium and high. I'm gonna double click on this and I'm gonna try building it. There we go. And it built. I will go save this away if anyone would like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this away and anyone can go download it. Okay. Here we go. File upload. And no, no, no. I don't want that. Um mumble. Okay. Uh no no no. This one. This one. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh no no no, not zoom. What am I what am I doing? I'm I'm exhibiting neuronal misfunction. Okay. Malfunction. Okay, there we go. Uh, great. Ladies and gentlemen, let's run it. Let's run it. Can we run it now? Yeah, and then again. Are we going to run it? Here we go. Okay. So um, 400 is somewhere like somewhere out here, I guess. Um, maybe is, is the criteria for low income. And we're going to run it. There we go. Um, and the infection is just getting started here, okay? This is the count of times infected, okay? Over time, the count of times infected among each of these different groups. What is this telling us? I'm gonna pause it for a minute. What is that telling us? If, if this is the count of times that low-income people have been infected over the course of their life. This, this shows among the low-income people in the population the number of times they've been infected. It's a histogram, right? Some of them have been infected, you know, 450 times. Some of them have been infected 425 times. Some have been infected probably 500 something times, right? That's for low income. Now let's look at medium and high income. What do we see for that? Can anyone say, is this higher or lower? It, it, are the values here bigger than for the low income population or smaller? Smaller. And why is there this thing on zero? Why do you think that would be? Why is it zero heavy? Never been infected. They've never been infected. There's a group who are cruising in their yachts or living in, in in hermetically sealed communities or something, um, uh, having Jeeves go and, and and get deliveries for them, like these folks here, or this one here, or these folks, or these folks living on islands that have never gotten infected, right? And so now we have these real differences between people's uh, level of infection. Would you say the burden of infection is higher in low-income individuals or in medium and high-income individuals? Well, higher. It's, it, so it's higher amongst low-income individuals. Yes, they have much higher. Are, are there any of them that are down here at zero? Are there any, are there any low-income individuals that are at zero? None at all. But among medium and high, there are quite a few, right? Um, this is bimodal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a, an this is an example of a pattern that's emerging from this model. We didn't pre-program this in, but it's emerging from the model as a disparity. Where is this disparity coming from? Why would it be that low-income people have so many more infections than medium and high-income people here? What's the mechanism? What's the mechanism underlying this? What does it involve? It involves what? Tight networks involves crowding, we could say, informally in the model that is leading to exposure for medium and low for, for low income people again and again and again to infection, whereas medium and high income people have less dense networks, or in some cases they're disconnected from the network. And this is the result, right? It 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 emerges that the burden of infection is far higher. Um, among the low-income people. Okay, so this is this is um, for for histograms, and it's a sobering set of statistics. I'd like to complete 
this thought for you, though, with another powerful, and in my mind, even more powerful way to look at this. So what I'm going to do is temporarily stop the show